What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create columns into your WordPress menus using the Visual Model WordPress Teams menus engine. So let me show you the menu. This is a menu example using two columns. As you can see, it's a drop down menu, a sub, -sub menu with two columns to better display and show the menu pages. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a menu like this. We already have made a guide that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to fully edit and customize the menu drop down and sub menus, items, style, and even columns, but in this video I'm gonna focus just in columns, so we can make it easier. First of all, you need to have things to populate your menu, you need to have pages, or add by custom links. After you already have some pages into your WordPress website, we're gonna move to appearance menus. In our case, we're gonna look at the right menu with centered logo, but in most of the cases, you're gonna be looking at the primary menu, okay? This is an example of some columns as structure, and we need to start from it. I need to explain how, the, how does the menu structure works. Let me just remove some, some items to free some space into the menu. Now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna drag and drop the contact page from over the resources. Now if you see, if you go to the menu and the resources, now the contact page is not any longer in the primary menu. It's in the second line menu. We did change the priority. We're gonna do the same now with the shop. I'm gonna move the shop under the contact, that is under the resources. Let's check the result. As you can see, we're gonna hover over resources over over contact and now we're gonna see the shop this is how the menus structure works now we're gonna work on columns how to create mood columns in the menu drop down Let me apply more items, more pages into our menu. First of all, we're gonna click on custom links in the add menu item left sidebar and we're gonna type the hashtag because we do not want the menu the the title of the column be clickable but you can add a link in the case that you want or even a page this is just an example and i'm gonna create two titles like two triggers to open or control the columns the column one and the column two and i'm gonna apply pages under these triggers once I just want these items to work as titles, I will not link, but you can in the case that you want. Let me drag and drop the contact eating 
to the top to make it easier to drag and drop the other, the other items. And I'm gonna organize the pages like this. We have contact and under the contact we have column one and column two. And under each of these columns we have three items. Let me save the change. And this is how it's gonna look like looks like by the full. Or in the case that you are using something without the the menu engine, the customizable menu engine, like the visual mode of WordPress games has. Now we're gonna click on this little arrow that is called that is called edit menu item, and we're gonna select the columns with it. By default, it's set as full but we're gonna change to one health. In other words, two columns. And we're gonna save the change. Nothing changed yet. Why? Because we did not enable the mega menu yet. Once again, we're gonna click on the arrow in the contact, that is the main item, the primary item. And in the drop down type, we're gonna select mega menu drop down. Save change. And it's done. We have our menu with two columns into the drop down using WordPress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with all of those features and much more. And I see you later. All the best.